If your summer vacation plans are on hold this year, the York County Economic Alliance is ready to help you enjoy summer with a Yokocation. From backyard fun to hidden gems throughout Yoko, get ready to enjoy your summer with our Yoko Go series. Today, we are gonna be exploring some culinary delights with Kylie Knitter, a registered dietitian from Giant. Kylie, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Oh my, I feel like there are so many, um, but I would say right now it would have to be strawberries um, just because they're so fresh this time of year and there's so many different things that you can do with them. Um, one of my favorite um, ways to use strawberries is making a strawberry chia jam. So it's essentially where you're just cooking down the strawberry, allowing the natural juices to escape um allowing it to cool and adding chia seeds which we know chia seeds um gel so um it's gonna gel all those juices together you get in fiber and good omega-3 um but you have this delicious sweet strawberry flavor um so i love adding that to oatmeal on top of yogurt toast um so i definitely think right now strawberries are top of my list Hi, this is Charlotte Scheid, nutritionist working in partnership with The Giant Company. You know, these days when it's hot out, what I like to eat in the morning is a protein-packed smoothie for breakfast. The strawberry cheesecake smoothie recipe is affordable and delicious, and is packed full of calcium and even 17 grams of protein, which is great for you in the morning. So today I'm going to show you how to make this smoothie recipe. So let's get started. Start by putting in 3 fourths cup of low-fat vanilla yogurt and 3 fourths cup of cottage cheese into a blender. Next, we're going to add 12 to 14 strawberries, fresh or frozen, a half cup of your preferred milk of choice, and one tablespoon of ground flax. And lastly, we're just going to add one cup of ice. Blend for about one minute or until consistency is smooth. Then we're just going to top it off with a dash of whipped topping and a sprinkle of graham cracker. For more information on recipe ideas or nutritionist class information, visit giantfoodstores.com. Thanks for watching! Nothing says summer like a fresh tomato. So today I wanted to share with you a simple recipe that's bursting with fresh seasonal flavors and is perfect for your next picnic. This grilled tomato and mango salsa can be used as a dip, added on top of summer tacos, or my personal favorite, used to top grilled salmon burgers. So let's get started with our salsa. First, preheat your grill to medium high heat. Next, grab four tomatoes and half them. So cut right in half, just like you see here. For your mango, you can use fresh mango, or you can head to the fresh cut fruit section in the produce department at Giant and grab some mango that's already been cut for you. And these are just chunks. You could also cut them into spears. Next, just add a little bit of olive oil on top of your mango and tomato and top with a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little bit. Now we'll head to the grill. Now that we've added the tomatoes and mango to the grill, allow to cook for about four to five minutes, making sure you turn them occasionally. And we're really looking for those nice grill marks to know that they're ready to go. Once you've removed your tomato and mango from the grill, allow them to cool before chopping. Once you've chopped all of your produce into small pieces, Add it to a bowl with two tablespoons of lemon juice, a shake of crushed red pepper, and any other dry or fresh herbs and spices that you like. Give it a mix and serve. Thanks for watching today. I hope this recipe becomes one of your summertime favorites. For this recipe and more, be sure to visit giantfoodstores.com.